Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, You Need Tell. Okay, if you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up if you would like a personal reading. How you can purchase one is down in the description box. This is going to be a month of May reading for the sign of Capricorn, okay? We're gonna see what's coming out for you, all right? Money, finances, love, whatever. So let's see what, we're gonna pull a crystal card and then two oracle cards for you and then we're gonna get into the regular tarot deck. So which crystal is most prominent for my Capricorn spirit for the month of May 2021 for my Cappies? Capricorn, what is the most prevalent energy for my Capricorn? For the month of May, please, spirit. Capricorn, for the month of May, what is the most perfect energy for my Capricorn, please? What is the most perfect energy for my Capricorn, please? For the month of May, Happy month of May, what crystal do they need for May 2021? For my Capricorns, May 20, oh, it came out. Cacoxinite. All right, that is new beginnings. Wow, so new beginnings for my Capricorn. That's a beautiful stone. I need to get that. And at the bottom, crocite, sexuality. So, whoa, new beginnings in sex. And then we have empowerment under there and peace and relaxation and letting go. Okay, period. So this is a good month for you. As far as I'm he I'm hearing healing. Okay, it's concerned. And maybe a lot of sex for you this month too. So we'll see what's popping. So let's pull from the wild offering oracle deck. This is messages straight, straight from spirit. For my Capricorns, what message do you have for Capricorn? Cappy is the devil for the month of May 2021. What message do you have for my Capricorns, please, Bill? For the month of May. Okay, what's the most important message that you have for my Capricorns, May 2021? Capricorns, please. What's the most important? There it is. We have make it gods. Release the idea of mind. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arise. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of mind, dear Lord. So I forgot who else got that card, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, trust. When love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the time it is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. I think Pisces got this make it, make it God's card. I'm not sure. All right. So let's see. What is the messages for my Capricorns from the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck? What is the most important message for my Capricorns, the devil? Capricorn for the month of May, May 2021. For my Cappies, what's the most important message for my Capricorn, please? One significant card, please, Spirit, for my Capricorn. What is one significant card for my Capricorn, please? What does Capricorn need to know most in the month of May? Too many. Just one, please, Spirit. One significant card for my Capricorn. One significant card for my Capricorn, please. Capricorn. One significant card for my Capricorn, please. There we go. We have Bitch Fire. Stand up for yourself. Okay. Number 16. And then which justice is coming. That's the Libra card. Okay, so let's see. It says, bitch fire, stand up for yourself. So stand up for yourselves this month. <laughs> That's it. 
Oh my gosh, I hate when I sneeze. Okay, there's no better way to say it. Someone in your life is trying to burn you at the stake. Wow. Maybe you didn't give them something they wanted or you didn't let them get away with their bad behavior. Either way, they're trying to ruin your reputation. Rest assured, your reputation will stay intact. Silence can be effective, but this is not that kind of situation. Get loud and let them have a taste of your bitch fire. And that's just that on that. Okay? Somebody got you fucked up, Kathy. Okay? It says, which justice is coming? I want to read that one. Someone's telling me to. Let me read that real quick. Somebody got you messed up. Now you finna let their ass know about that. All right? It says, they say that whatever we do comes back to us the same times three. The justice card. That's Libra energy in the regular tarot. If a person's intentions are, are well-meaning, then that good energy will come back to them in buckets. If a person's intentions are to do harm, then you get the picture here, okay? Either way, the universe is getting ready to deliver its justice. Wow. This person might be you. If so, you should handle it with grace and learn from your mistakes. Otherwise, this most likely applies to someone who's caused harm to you or your loved ones. So, yeah, someone around you that's evil, somebody that do dirty little shit, they karma coming, and if this is you, Capricorn, yours is. Justice is coming this month. The scales, it's, it's going to be balanced. Okay? If somebody did you wrong and they come in there trying to be, be a force upon you or force their way upon you, you're going you, to you gonna pull that bitch fire out on their ass and you're going to get them a piece of your mind. And you're going to let them know who, who they trying and who they fucking with. Period. 707 on the clock. Messages for my Capricorns, please. What is the most important messages for Capricorn for the month of May 2021? In love, finances, um, health, whatever messages that they need to know most. Um, what's the most prominent messages for my Capricorns the month of May? Period. May 2021. What's the most important messages for my Capricorns? Yeah, you're not letting something go down. New beginnings. There's a new you. And somebody finna feel the wrath of that. Okay? What's the messages for the month of May? For my Capricorns, please. Month of May. What is the messages for my Capricorns? Okay? Yeah, we have Three of Swords in reverse. Libra energy. Very heavy Libra energy here with the Ace of Pentacles. So with the three swords in reverse and the upright, that's heartbreak and, and um, betrayal and pain. But in the reverse, you're healing from that. You're healing from the heartbreak, the pain, the betrayal, or whatever that was called towards you. You're healing. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, High Font, and the Ten of Pentacles, you are getting some kind of big money coming in towards you, Capricorn, from some kind of government entity. I don't know what it could be. Income taxes. Stimulus, whatever it could be. You know what it is more than I do. But whatever it is, it's coming towards you here. You have big money coming towards you. You can believe that. Okay, this could be for this could be for your children or your child. Because I had a page of pentacles, page of wands. Okay. But you're really, really, really feeling good this month. What's the messages for my Capricorn? What's the messages for my Capricorn? Yeah, you've healed from some kind of betrayal, heartbreak, or whatever. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Swords. Okay. Yeah, the Eight of Wands wanted to come out in reverse. Spirit told me to flip it back around because I, I flipped it on the upright. So whatever was what it, whatever was stagnant or blocked for you, Capricorn, things are taking off. The Wheel of Fortune is here. That wheel is going to turn. Things are on your side. So if you're on the good side of justice, like that card said, if you were fucked up, if you did fucked up shit, that shit is coming back on you. Okay, blocks are going to be here or whatever. But if you was on the right side, then things are going to turn out good for you. But I did see the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. So, so maybe you were on the good side of this. Let's see. Let's keep going. What is the messages?
Yeah, now we have the Seven of Swords flip, that flipped over. The Seven of Swords with the Page of Swords, somebody that lies, gossips, will lie about you, talk shit about you behind your back. Somebody you can't trust. Foxes, you can't trust Fox. You see that Fox? Foxes represent liars. Somebody sneaky. Sneaky as fuck. Okay? Somebody secretly watching you too. Some of you are also like studying something new here about natal charts or, or wanting to get a reading done about your natal chart or wanting to learn about it or whatever. Okay? But somebody here is very, very sneaky that you're dealing with here. What's the three of swords in reverse for my Capricorn? Yeah, nine of swords. Okay? You have a high priestess. So your intuition is kicking in here. Maybe you're thinking about this Libra about this month, okay? I don't know. You're very, very much in your in your, in your head about something here. But you've healed with the Three of Swords in reverse. You've healed from a heartbreak, okay? You're very guarded with the Seven of Wands here. Eight of Wands in reverse. What's the Eight of Wands in reverse? For my Capricorns. Yeah, the, the Hermit. Okay. You go. Yeah, you're very defensive, Seven of Wands. You're ghosting the situation here. Okay. One second, please. Yeah, you're very guarded. You're very much guarded regarding the situation here. All right? You're very much in your head. It's like you're looking over something. It's like you're... You're gather, gathering information. You're really going... You're really by yourself here. Okay? This month. You're really on guard. That's what this bitch fire is. Standing up for yourself here. Okay? If somebody asks you for money, I'm giving that you're not, you're like, no. If somebody you don't trust, somebody sneaky, lying, cheating, a con, and you have your guard up against this person. This person lies. But the Page of Swords can be a liar, not only a stalker, but a liar. You have your defenses, defenses up. You do not trust this person whatsoever. You may even block communication with this person and ghost with them. Yeah. Most definitely. What's the will of fortune for my Capricorn? What's the Wheel of Fortune for my Capricorn? So we have the Justice card here in the Wheel of Fortune. So karma this month. You have the Two of Wands. That's making a decision here. You have the Death. Maybe it's regarding a Scorpio. Something ending. Definitely a Scorpio with the Five of Cups and the Death card. Okay. Maybe this Scorpio. Um, Maybe this Scorpio is disappointed or sad or they want to reconcile. They want to communicate something here. Nine of Cups with the Five of Swords. But somebody is in some head games shit. Okay. Somebody wants to reconcile here. All right. All right. Let's see. What's, what's, the, um, what's the Page of Swords? What's the Page of Swords? The Scorpio card made it out to death. Yeah. You don't trust the Scorpio. Okay, yeah. Or the Scorpios have been stalking and watching you. You have the devil in the, in the, with the magician and the tower. Okay, definitely a Scorpio energy or a Capricorn or a Gemini. But I'm getting Scorpio because the tower is here in the death. You don't trust this motherfucker with the magician. This is somebody manipulative next to this, to the devil. Okay, with the Seven of Swords and Page of Swords, this person is a liar, they're a sneak, they're a con, and you better watch this motherfucker. That's all I'm going to tell you. But, I, okay, yeah. Look at this energy. Page of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Death, the Tower, the Magician, and the Devil. The Magician and the Devil, that's somebody that do black magic, too. Okay, this person don't know what the fuck they're doing, is what I just heard, but, Yeah. This could be somebody in your family, all right, with the Ten of Cups. 
This could be your child because we have a page here. This could be your child. Yeah, the emperor or the father of your son or somebody's father. Yeah. What is the page of swords here? Yeah, you don't trust this motherfucker. You're making a decision to, to yeah, what's the seven of swords? Why is the seven of swords here? Yeah, the two, the two of swords, Libra energy. Somebody tries to put pull the wool over people's eyes. This emperor, somebody that could be a narcissist with that devil that wanted to come out. This person tries to hide things, pull the wool over your eyes, but I feel like you know exactly what's going on. You see this person for who they are, Capricorn, okay? You block this person, you don't talk to them, you ghost to them, and all of that. What's the seven of swords and the two of swords? What is this? Yeah, judgment and the four of wands. So this could be somebody that you actually live with. Okay, because the four of wands is the structure of a home. This could be somebody you live with here. Or this could be somebody that's trying to sneak or finagle their way in, in your home. The Scorpio, and you're just like, no, you're calling this person out. That's why bitch fire is here. You're letting this person know you're about to get. Look at the five of swords on the bottom of the deck. This person cannot be trusted. This person is very stubborn and they do what's best for them. You don't, you don't, this person has said some harsh shit too. You don't trust this person. I just get an energy of you just, look at your defenses up, seven of wands. You do not trust this person. You have five of cups and three of cups. This Scorpio that you walked away from. You have, you're protecting your home. Yeah, whoever's trying to sneak in your home or come back into your home, you're protecting your shit. You're like, no, you're not welcome here, no. Okay, that shit is done. You have 10 of wands. You find this person to be a burden. No way, okay? It's not happening. Yep, and there we go with that tower again, the two of pentacles. Okay, the Scorpio energy. Somebody you're dealing with, a Scorpio and the emperor is here again. Somebody very controlling could be a narcissist, the father of your child, or it could be your own child. Shit. What's the messages here for Capricorn? You do not trust this person. Whoever this is, you, your, your defenses is up. Seven of swords, five of swords, seven of wands. You are like, no. And here we go. This Libra energy, justice is out here. And we have the justice card here. So this is karma. You having your defenses up with the wheel, the wheel is, wheel of fortune is the karmic wheel. It's double karma here for somebody, okay? And the judgment, so it's triple karma for whatever somebody did, whatever fucked up shit they said, whatever deceitful, underhanded, thieving, conning, stealing type shit they did, this is their karma for you to have your defenses up against this person as you should because this person is stealing this energy, Okay, and you've healed from whatever they did to you, this betrayal or this hurt with the three of swords in reverse. You stayed up many a nights crying over this. It could even be over Libra that, that has blocked you and you're not talking to or whatever. Definitely heavy Libra here. Okay, we have two of swords, uh, the justice and the three of swords. This could be a Scorpio with Libra in their chart, but somebody here is, is heavy. You don't you don't fuck with them at all. It's just it's a no. Yeah, the ace of cups. Somebody could be coming in wanting forgiveness or coming in um crying, being very manipulative here, trying to play on your emotions here. Yeah. But I feel like this person, I don't know, why it's the five of swords, seven of swords energy here, page of swords. That that's not good energy. That's not good energy at all. What is the justice here for? Why is the justice here, Spirit? Why is the justice here for Capricorn? Why is my nose running though? Yeah, we have the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah. With the King of Pentacles here, yeah. And the king of cups behind that. So this person is coming in maybe for some money. Maybe they're burdened. They don't have any money. They need somewhere to go. They need something from you. But you have your sword out. You're like, no. You're sitting here like, figure it out. Do what's best for you. You're a grown-ass man. 
Figure your shit out, okay? Because you're sitting up with the King of Pentacles. Your money is straight. Your home is comfortable. You protected your home. You have, look at look how this person is protecting their home here with the Seven of Wands and the Four of Wands. This person is like, nope, you're not coming in my house. And none of that. So you might as well get over it. Because somebody is dead ass serious. Somebody is very serious about this. They do not want to be bothered with this energy or with this person. This person is coming in on some fuck shit too. The chariot. What's the seven of wands right here for? With the four of wands and the five of swords. Yeah, five of cups. The Scorpio is coming in apologetic. I'm sorry, but their motives, they're, they're doing this to... to for their own good, five of swords, seven of swords. Somebody's going to receive karma for what they did here. Ten of cups keep wanting to come out. That could be to family. That, that could be to this Libra. Look like there's this heavy Libra here. Three of swords, justice, two of swords. This could be to, to you, Capricorns, the people in the family. This person is looking at triple karma, or this could be you. If you did something fucked up, but I read the card. It says if you were on the dirty end of doing fucked up shit, then your karma is going to hit this month and the justice is here. This is the month of karma, yeah. For someone, we have the devil here. That's you, Capricorn. This is the month of karma and this is the month where shit is falling. Secrets that were being told with the tower and the moon and illusions and shit like that, all of that is being revealed. We have the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords here. A very tumultuous month. Y'all might see the number 555 a lot this month. What's the Five of Cups and Five of Swords? I'm surprised the Five of Wands ain't here. Yeah, the Emperor. The father of your child or or whoever. Okay? But somebody here is needs to roll the fuck up. Is what I'm hearing. What's the Five of Wands, Five of Swords? This is somebody older that needs to grow up. But somebody here is on some fuck shit. Yeah, nine of cups. Okay, somebody drinks heavy too. Yeah, nine of wands. Wore out, tired, just just over it. Somebody's selfish and they do what is best for them. Somebody's a narcissist with that emperor and that five of swords there. They come in charming. They come in wanting to take you out or wanting to whatever. But their motives with the five of swords is not right. They're still secretive with the moon and still cannot be trusted. And that's just that on that. Period. What's this Ace of Cups over here? Yeah, the, the Queen of Swords. This could be somebody that you're married to. There could be a divorce that's happening this month. Okay? For some of you. But yeah, there could have been some harsh words between two people here. Yeah, back and forth with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're seeing right through this person's tears and games and shit. You see this person for who they are. However, they're trying to come back in. And you're protecting your home. You're not with it. Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. In the upright, that's illusions and confusions and games. In the reverse, you see right through that shit. You're not about to play with this person. That shit is dead. So for as far as money, y'all, money is looking good. Okay? I see your health. If you were going through anything, I see your health healing. Okay, I see you doing very well with your health as well. Okay, we had the start that um, showed itself a few times, even though it didn't come out. So that's going to be healing. Your three of swords is in reverse. Okay, your house is comfortable. Your home is protected here. Okay, karma. It looks like it looks like karma is on your side. Good karma is on your side, but it don't look like it's for somebody else that's done some fucked up shit. Be careful who you who you enabling and doing shit like that for because then you could be fucking up your karma by dealing with something. You could be blocking your blessings with the eight of wands in reverse because somebody here is sneaky. They gossip. They talk shit about you behind your back. They lie. They try to one up and they do whatever they can to win in the situations here. So you need to remember that. Could be a Scorpio. Okay. Or somebody, a Scorpio with heavy uh, Libra in their chart. Or this could be a Libra. But 
when somebody's facing their due diligence this month. So these are the messages that I have for you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.